My name is Doug Blair, and I'm a news producer and podcast co-host here at The Daily Signal. After Politico leaked a draft opinion saying that the Supreme Court was going to overturn Roe v. Wade, I immediately headed to the Supreme Court. When I got there, protesters were already shouting and screaming, but throughout the night, more showed up and they became increasingly aggressive. I remember a small group of Catholic university students who were trying to quietly pray the rosary. They were repeatedly heckled and taunted with horribly blasphemous remarks. A few nights after that, I went to a group of 100 protesters and I followed them as they marched to Justice John Roberts and Justice Brett Kavanaugh's homes. And what I saw there was nothing short of horrifying. The same angry energy from the first night was there at the Supreme Court, but this time they were yelling in front of a private residence. Uh, they were drawing images of coat hangers on the ground and carrying around and screaming vulgar things. Eventually, at Justice Kavanaugh's house, a group of five police cars showed up, and the lion's share of the protesters just vanished, evaporated. The fact that they fled the scene so quickly, I think, shows that they're scared. They know that the American people are on the side of life. Covering these protests has been eye-opening. I think that's what shocked me the most, is how aggressive the radical left is about keeping abortion. There's no shame that they have about their combative push for the right to continue murdering the unborn. I hope that my reporting can help reveal the truth about the disconnect between these radical activists and the rest of the American people. Because frankly, we are cultivating a culture of life in this country. And I think that life is gonna win.